Welcome again, everybody. Uh, this is RC Reviews and Action, and this time we're going to unbox and review a battery pack. Uh, so this battery pack is from Hobby King. So it's a 2S2P LiPo battery. That means it's a 7.4 volt 2 cell battery. Let's look inside the box. very well packed. So this is the new Nanotech uh, Ultimate LiPo battery and it's a 7500 mAh 2S 90C discharge rate battery. This uh, 90C it's, it's a very high uh, discharge rate so that means you can use this battery uh, under race uh, circumstances, so this is a very uh, capable uh, battery. It should handle uh, a very uh, big, a huge uh, amp draw. Uh, let's see what else we've got in the in the box. Of course, there's a little manual, some warning messages in it. And uh, there is a, a charging wire, and uh, there is no connector in the in one of the uh, wire end, so you can use your own uh, connector. And the other end, uh, there is a, a five millimeter uh, connector. Uh, and also on the battery, these are a five millimeter uh, connectors. And as you can see, you can. Uh, uh, see through these holes so you can uh, put your connector on each side uh, on either side of the uh, battery okay and uh, here is a, a pair of connectors also in this little bag at first uh, this looks like uh, look like a normal uh, connector it's a, a five millimeter connector so it can fit in these holes, but actually uh, these are an adapter which transforms the 5 millimeter uh, diameter uh, hole into a 4 millimeter uh, hole. So if you put this connector in this hole, it fits very well, and after that you can fit a 4 millimeter connector. Uh, to this smaller hole. So I think it's a, a very good feature. So, because that way uh, you can use your your own uh, four millimeter connectors as well. Uh, I'm using uh, four millimeter connectors almost all in all my cars, and that is a, a ten gauge uh, wire. So it would be very hard to fit a 4 mm connector in on it. I can show you. And these are uh, 4 mm connectors. And as you can see, it's uh, it doesn't fit very well. So it uh, it would need something uh, bigger, at least a 5 mm connector. But as I mentioned, I use the I use uh, four millimeter connectors in my car, so I won't use this uh, first. Rather than that, I will use uh, a connector which I al already have. Uh, this is a, a four millimeter connectors, and all my cars use this uh, kind of connector, so I will use that one. But uh, to use that one. First of all, I have, have to I will have to use the, the transformers, the adapters, and uh, as you can see, there is a little connector on the balance lead. So I will transform this uh, wire, this charging wire, to to fit this battery pack. So I need uh, 
uh, one connector like this. I think it's a one or two millimeter connector, I'm not sure. So I think I won't use this one first, and I use this one. And uh, we will do a little soldering mm, like on the other wire. Okay. So let's do this. soldier this connector to this wire so let's do it this is our little wire and this is the connector uh, in my experience the best way to to soldier uh, RC connectors mm, uh, even if it's that uh, little or that big is to use it so the best way is to use a, a butane uh, gas uh, soldering torch I think it's the easiest way so let's see how I usually do it you need a wise you don't want to tighten it very much otherwise it will damage the, the connector of course you need a soldering wire I will only heat the connector and put the wire in it so as you can see the it is uh, full of soldering wire and I will heat the connector again and put the wire in it when it is start to melt okay so that was it very hot but it is well soldiered uh, I will use some heat shrink tube on it okay I will also use the torch to shrink it okay so that's it so now as you can see we apply this uh, uh, adapter on both holes of the uh, battery and now uh, we soldered on this little balance wire connector so now we should use our own charging wire okay so let's try this battery for the first time First of all, let's uh, measure this uh, battery's internal resistance. So 
it's uh, under the menu special modes on this Dungeon Reactor Charger. And here you can measure your battery's internal resistance. You have to push the start. It uh, shows 2-2. Two, two. I think it uh, will be a little less if you uh, charge the battery to its full capacity. So let's uh, charge it. We're gonna uh, we oh, so this is a lipo battery. We're gonna balance charge it, and uh, we will use uh, at least 10 amp charging rate. I think oh, we can use that because it's a 7.5 ampere hour. As you can see, the charging is started. Uh, the voltage of the two cells is almost identical. It's identical, so uh, the factory storage charge uh, heads up very well, as you can see. Uh, uh <coughs> Most people usually charge their batteries with uh, one C charging rate. It's the, the safest way to do it. Uh, in this case, uh, 1C uh, means uh, 7.5 amp uh, charging. But I usually charge my batteries with uh, a 2C rate. So I think I uh, will charge this battery with uh, 15 amps. But uh, first I will check on the, the Hobby King website uh, to see what is the, the suggested maximum charge rate of this battery. If it says uh, the 2C is allowed, uh, then I will charge it with, uh, with 15 amps. Okay, so we finished with charging uh, the battery. So I think we should measure the internal resistance again. As you can see, the internal resistance of one cell is when the uh, decrease to one, and the battery pack IR is three milliohm at this time. I think it's it's very good. Okay, so that's it for now. I hope you heard some uh, useful information. If you did, please subscribe to my channel.